McKelty and Tony did another one of those live reaction while they watched an episode of Sister Wives. And I, I am just really confused, you guys. So they're doing the live watch alongs, but they're no longer playing the show. I guess they ran into some copyright issues. It gives a little bit of a disjointed feel. They do their best. They provide timestamps. They take breaks at the same time to answer questions. They do do their absolute best. I guess because of the live aspect of it, the copyright issue is going to be extremely difficult to work around. I think that maybe if they went in the direction of how Gwen does her videos, it's pre-recorded, but they could take submitted questions via their Patreon. One of the cool things that McKelty and Tony do is they respond to the live chat and they take questions straight from the live chat. So that's really cool. So it's kind of like you give up one thing to get a thing. So I don't know which, which is better. I have no idea. But with Gwen, you know, in pre-recorded videos, it is a little bit easier to work around those copyright issues so that you still fall into the fair use guideline. But their answer to one question in particular left me scratching my head. So despite confirmation now from Peyton and Gwen that they feel like the move to Flagstaff was entirely centered around Dayton getting into college at NAU. McKelty and Tony have a different story to tell. They they are coming with another set of, shall we say, alternative facts. McKelty and Tony attempt to set the record straight about what the true impetus was behind the move to Flagstaff. So let's get into today's video. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Still coming to you from my old setup because construction is still going on and on. Will it ever end? I hope so. I hope to have things wrapped up pretty much by the end of the week in my new studio slash office. I am having crown molding and baseboards installed tomorrow that really should tie everything together, hopefully, and I will start moving furniture over. So yay. So slowly but surely we are coming together. I do apologize to myself and to you that I grossly underestimated what exactly this project was going to entail. But from the feedback I've been receiving from you guys, such is the way that construction projects usually go. <laughs> So like I said, Tony and McKelty in their live reaction video, they were fielding questions from the live chat. And this one question in particular, their answer really left me going, really? They were asked, do you know if the family moved to Flagstaff because of Dayton getting into college there? And as you can see from the screenshot, this made them both chuckle. So I took notes on what McKelty and Tony said. And if you're wondering why I don't play a clip from their live, it's because they have that content on their Patreon, which is behind a paywall. It would be really inappropriate to play that content for you. I will put a link to their Patreon in the description of this video if you wanna subscribe, but since it is not public content, I am just going to relay to you the answer. So just reading from my notes here, McKelty says that Dayton hadn't been accepted, nor had he even applied yet to NAU when the family decided to move. He was actually planning on attending the University of Las Vegas, UNLV. McKelty also says that the reason for the move to Flagstaff was because Cody got his itch to move and he gets these itches to move every few years. She goes on to say that it was actually a really good time to move because a bunch of the kids were getting ready to graduate. I have an opinion on this that I'll touch on just a little bit later. Also, the adults wanted to move from Vegas because Vegas was really pricey and they were looking for more of a small town feel. And they go on to say later when they answer another question, they talk about how expensive Flagstaff is. So 
They didn't exactly move to a more cost-effective locale, but anyways. Tony actually says that he saw Dayton's application for NAU, and the date on the application was within a week or two of them moving to Flagstaff. He says, and I quote, it wasn't like he got in and then everyone decided to go. Tony says that he remembers Robin stressing out that she didn't know if Dayton was going to stay in Vegas or come with them to Flagstaff. And Tony says that the fact that he has seen Dayton's application and the date on it debunks any rumor that the family moved for Dayton. Okay, so that's what they had to say as an answer to that question. Now I'm going to talk about what I thought of that answer. I have mentioned in previous videos that now that we have more of the kids speaking out via social media, you know, McKelty and Gwen both have Patreon and YouTube channels. Payton is pretty active on TikTok. Mitch, Aspen, and Isabel have all appeared on McKelty's Patreon. We're starting to hear from more and more of the kids. Well, with that and with hearing them recount their histories and their truths, I'm starting to get a sense that the truth for this family is situational and very subjective. Honestly, when they're asked questions about certain topics, I'm not really sure how much insider information we're really getting, given that they have admitted that certain members of the family aren't even that close. For example, Gwen has commented that it's been a couple years since she's been inside Robin's McMansion, and McKelty didn't even recognize Mary's house in one shot because she has never been there. It has been a long time since the entire family has spent any kind of significant amount of time together. They definitely don't all keep in touch with each other. So I'm starting to take everything we hear from the kids, if it's not about themselves specifically, with a huge grain of salt. The question about the move to Flagstaff has been asked to all of the kids that have done interviews or reactions at one time or another. Peyton and Gwen have both said that they think it's pretty obvious that the move to Flagstaff was for Dayton. Now, that doesn't mean that Dayton wanted to go off to college with his entire family following behind him, but it definitely seems and has been confirmed from Peyton and Gwen that Robin was behind the scenes pulling strings so that it would be possible for Dayton to attend college and still live at home. In an interview that Peyton gave, he actually went so far as to say that moving to Flagstaff really didn't make sense because none of the members of the Brown family had any ties to Flagstaff. There was no extended family members living there. Really, the only thing was Dayton got accepted into college there. Personally, I agree with Peyton and Gwen, and McKelty and Tony have really failed to convince me otherwise. Let's dive a little further into their answer to this question. McKelty very specifically says that Dayton was always planning on attending UNLV. He did not even decide to apply to NAU until the family had decided to move to Flagstaff. Dayton's acceptance into NAU was actually featured on the show in season 13, episode six, titled Flagstaff flirtation. So anybody else have any thoughts about what this move means or what or what us looking at moving here? Dayton, you got something to say? Uh, will we be able to look at the campus while we're there? Oh, oh, got a fun announcement. And guess what, you guys? Mom, do you want to announce it? Should, should oh, proud you announce mommy? it, bud. I am going to NAU. I was accepted into Northern Arizona University, which is actually in Flagstaff. So that definitely works out in my favor. Pretty well, so at least Dayton's an easy sell on it. Yeah, yeah, he's up for an adventure, so he's good. At this time, Robin was still live tweeting all of the episodes, so she tweeted this out as the episode was airing. So this was on March 3rd, 2019. We were so excited when Dayton was accepted to NAU. He was able to get a scholarship as well. The campus is so beautiful. Hashtag sister wives. And look, I do not begrudge Dayton getting accepted into college. That's a great thing. That's a big deal. Congratulations to him. And he got a scholarship. 
absolutely go to NAU. And I think Peyton even said in the interview that he gave that Dayton was not thrilled that his mom was insisting on following him to school, which makes a whole lot of sense to me what college freshman really wants their mom tagging along behind them. And season 13 was pretty jam packed with change for the Brown family. At the beginning of this season is when Mary buys the B&B. Leon and Audrey announce their engagement. Aspen and Mitch are well into wedding planning and their wedding is featured in season 13 of the show. And then as if life isn't busy and chaotic enough, Cody gets this itch to move. And that is something that McKelty mentions in the answer that she and Tony gave. Cody gets this itch to move every few years. They had previously lived in Wyoming, then Lehigh, then Vegas. And Cody just for whatever reason pulled Flagstaff out of his ass. However, according to what we see on the show, the family was merely in the baby stages of considering Flagstaff as an option when Dayton's acceptance to NAU came in. I mean, the title of the episode is Flagstaff Flirtation. The entire family as a whole hadn't even been out to Flagstaff yet. They had just gone like kind of like two at a time to check out land. They hadn't even committed fully to Coyote Pass yet. And then one thing I have to hard disagree with McKelty on is she said that it was actually a really good idea to move at that time because a lot of the kids were getting ready to graduate. So we are talking about the middle block of kids. Most of the middle block of kids at the time that they were moving to Coyote Pass were either going to be juniors or seniors in high school. And I'm sorry, ripping kids out of school that they're happy at their junior or senior year seems incredibly cruel if it's not 100% necessary. If this move was not about Dayton at all, the adults could have waited two or three more years for most of the middle block of kids to graduate from high school. This just sounds like the more humane option to me. But Tony really doubles down in defending Robin here where he says that he has seen the date on Dayton's college application. And it was within a week or two of them moving. I mean, the show contradicts that. And were you like peering over his shoulder as he was filling out his application? Did Dayton save a copy of his application to send to Tony specifically for Tony to have as a means of record keeping? And are college applications not entirely electronic these days? I mean, I electronically applied to college and that was in 2004. So I'm assuming that Dayton electronically electronically submitted his application. So did he like print a copy and send it to Tony? I'm so confused. Are Tony and Dayton friends? I mean, from what McKelty and Tony have even admitted on their Patreon, they've only seen Robin and Cody a few times. It's not like they're constantly hanging out. So the storyline on the show that was presented to us was that Cody decided they all had to move. He got this wild hair or the itch, as McKelty says, and he decided on Flagstaff. And at first, Robin wasn't totally on board. She was like, oh, I don't want to move. But it all ends up working out because as they are deciding on Flagstaff, poof, Dayton gets into college in Flagstaff. So it all works out happily ever after. Now, I've mentioned this before on my channel, but I am a huge fan of Emily D. Baker. I know some of you guys watch her channel as well. She is a legal analyst and she just got done covering the six week trial of Alec Murdoch. The trial lasted six weeks and the jury came back with a verdict in under three hours. And in my opinion, I think it was because the jurors received the evidence and came back with the most likely scenario that this man was a family annihilator. What is the more likely scenario here? Did Cody get this wild hair to move or the itch, as McKelty says, decide on Flagstaff, and then in the matter of one to two weeks, Dayton applied to NAU, got in, and was awarded a scholarship? 
Or is it more likely, and if you're recalling your own college application process, if that's something you participated in, was Dayton possibly looking at several schools, probably UNLV, probably NAU? Is it possible or likely that Robin knew that NAU was at the top of Dayton's list? Did she assist and likely pay for Dayton's college application to NAU? Is it likely that Robin knew or highly suspected that NAU was where Dayton really, really, really wanted to go? Did she decide he couldn't be out there on his own and then orchestrate this entire family move? Back when I was applying to college, most college applications took a couple months before you heard back on whether or not you were accepted. And then add on applying for and being awarded a scholarship, I just really don't see how all of that happened in a span of one to two weeks. Plus, the show debunks what Tony said about Dayton not even starting the process and until the family was in the process of executing this move. Because from what we saw in the show, they were still in the very, very beginning stages of considering Flagstaff at all. The Browns have been uprooting their children's lives for years, moving from place to place. And at different times, different kids have had their whole worlds turned upside down. I remember Hunter and Leon being extremely upset at the thought of leaving Lehigh and moving to Vegas. Now Gabe was faced with his entire world being turned upside down with this move to Flagstaff. I'm leaving behind friendships and, and a, a social status that I built up over a couple years. I'm leaving behind scholarships, like I said, and, and tons of schooling opportunities. At this point, I'm really just like fuming inside. Like I'm not happy and I want mom to stop talking to me. Like I really don't want to move at all. Why would a smaller school make it better when I'm already ranked top 10 out of 850 kids at my school in academics? Plus I already have a wrestling team here and I have numerous friends. I'm friends with most of the school. I don't see how Flagstaff is a better situation at all. For me, when I am looking at what is the most likely scenario, the move to Flagstaff really makes no sense other than Cody was putting the wants and desires of his favorite wife, Robin, above the wants, desires, and what would be best for his kids and his entire other family. Let me know what makes sense to you. Do you believe what Tony and McKelty are saying now about what the reasoning behind the move to Flagstaff was? And I guess we really didn't get a reason for the move other than that the reason was definitely not Dayton. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.